In last lecture we have created playground.ts file with the play function. In this file we'll be placing all of the TypeScript uh, types, interfaces and where we'll be basically just testing out all of the functionalities and features of the TypeScript. So let's continue in this lecture and uh, let's start defining here some of the types. Okay, first I'll create here a function, very simple function that will accept uh, person name, person age and we'll log this information to the console. Okay, so I'll create here a simple function, we'll call it, uh, let's say, log person information or display person information, up to you. So let's call it log person info. This function will have uh, two parameters, it will expect to get a string and a number, so I'll define here a parameter called person name comma and the second parameter will be person age. Okay, person age. This function will be very simple, it will lock these informations in some format. Okay, so I'll write here a variable called log, or oh, let's call it info, uh, where I will uh, join together a person name and a person age. Don't worry about this squiggly line here, we'll be fixing it very soon, I would like to show you the an example. So let's log here out the person name, so quotation signs for a string, let's log here name column plus person name, and I make it right there, okay, so name, person name, plus uh, comma, space, uh, age, column, space, plus, and let's get here person, person, age, like this, and we will console log out this information, so console.log, and let's console log out this information, and also let's return this information from the function. Uh, this log here can be also re uh, re re rewritten, uh, with the interpolation. So if you are familiar with our inter interpolation, you can achieve the same result by writing, let's write here again, cons info, I will comment out this. I will wrap it in the interpolation sign, so in the back ticks, and I will get here a name, column, and now we don't, we don't need to join here multiple strings, but we can write instead of a string dollars and curly brackets, and here we'll get a value from the variable. So from the variable person name. Okay, so column, or a comma, space, and let's write here now, H column space and here will be dollars and curly brackets and a person H. All right, so now we are getting here informations and we'll display, it. we will call the function and we'll provide a person name and a person H. So I will remove console lock. I will create here a name variable. You can write, here, you can assign here your name. So I'll write here Philip and uh, in the new variable called H, I will provide my name. Okay, and my H. Okay. Now we can call log person info. So log person info, and to log person info, I'll provide these two values, so name and the age. So name, age. Okay, all good. We'll test it out if it's working as it is. So let's save it. Let's go to your browsers. And if it's not, if not, if your console log is not open, please let's right click here simply, inspect the page, and let's open here console. Now you can refresh your browser, and you should see here name Philip and the age 30, or your name and your age. Okay, now let's. Let's inspect what we are getting here, why we are getting here this squiggly line. TypeScript doesn't like it. It doesn't like it because a parameter, a person name, implicitly has an any type. So when you will not define a type of your parameter, it's implicitly any. And a TypeScript doesn't like it because then you can allow any values to be passed in your function. For example, I would be able to call here log person info with the value of the true or false. Okay, so I will be able to get here Boolean values. I would be able to get here also both number values. All right, so all of this is valid now because it's implicitly any type and any type can be literally any type. Okay, so log person info I can call here, let's say I can call here null and uh, undefined, all right? So now when I will save this, I will get here a bunch of the data which are not very nice. Okay, I would like to look here personal information, not null and the undefined or the name to be number or the name to be boolean. And here TypeScript comes into the place because I can specify here that my log person info function can accept only person name with the type of the string. So after the variable, let's write column and let's say the parameter will be string like this. The same for a person age, let's write a column and let's specify here type for this to be another H but a number. Now you can see here, all of this here now is invalid. We can also inspect this so you can see here, argument of type Boolean, the saying of this argument of the true, is not assignable to parameter of type string. So we're trying to assign true, 
to the parameter, which is a type of the string, and that's not valid. And the same for a number, same for a null. So what we can do, simply let's remove here this, and let's let's leave here only log person info with the name and the age, which are correct name is a string, and the age is 30. Uh, maybe you're wondering uh, why I'm not specifying here type of the string and here age of a number. Of course, you can do so if it's more clear for you, if it's uh, more readable or you can see the types better this way. But you don't really need to assign here types when you're assigning values straight to the variables because you know what you are getting there. Okay, you implicitly this uh, variable have, will, be have, will have a type of a string and uh, age will be implicitly type of a number. So you don't need to really do it if you're assigning straight away the values here. But for readability, if you want, you can, no big deal, you can keep them here. All right, so now we can save, we can verify we are getting here this lock and we should be getting here name and the age. Okay, let's let's go to the next lecture. We'll, we'll show some of the other features of a of a TypeScript, and yeah, there is as I mentioned in the last lecture, there is a lot of lectures of the TypeScript in in front of us. See you in the next lecture, guys. Cheers.